this is Mike from Min.io. In today's video, we're going to be installing Min.io on RHEL. So this is going to be how to install and run Min.io on RHEL-based systems using the CLI. What are we going to cover today? Today, we're going to cover downloading the Min.io RPM package, launching the Min.io server, accessing the Min.io server via the web browser, and also installing the Min.io client and attaching to the local server that we just brought up and running. Here's the link to the official Min.io documentation, and also this link will be in the description box below. If you come over here to the Min.io docs page, you'll actually see all of the commands that I'm running today, so you can follow along if you like. So here we are on our server. This server is running Rocky Linux, which is a RHEL derivative. Uh, you can see that it's very much like CentOS or Fedora. And what we're going to do is go ahead and download the Min.io RPM package. And you can see that we have this downloaded as minio.rpm. Next, we're going to run a DNF install against that package, and this will install minio on the system. Next, we're going to make a directory to store all of our files that we upload into minio. And then we'll run this last command, which simply runs the minio server, points it to save files into that directory we just created, and sets the console address to 9090. You can see that it's running in the foreground here. And we will address that later on. But for now, it's given us the IP address and port, as well as the root user and password to log into the system. So here we are on the server, and we'll go ahead and log in using the minio admin username and password that was provided in the output for when we brought the server up and running. As you can see, there are no buckets, so I can create one. So now we have a new bucket, and let's upload something to make sure that things are working properly. And there you go. The file has uploaded successfully. Let's jump back over to our terminal. For now, as you can see, as I mentioned before, we're running this in the foreground. So if you press Control C, that will actually kill the Min.io running server. And we can actually look and see if we can see that file in the Min.io folder. Just to make sure we can see the file that we uploaded and the bucket that we created on our local system, we'll use the tree command. We'll do tree minus H in the Min.io folder. And as you can see here, we see the Min.io test bucket that we created the Minio test file, and it was uploaded as a part one, along with the metadata. This metadata gives additional information that makes it a lot easier to search for files when using object storage with Minio. For the next part, we're going to run Minio server in the background using this output of the any logging to the dev null, and then putting this ampersand at end to run it in the background. You can see that now it's running in the background as process ID 55911. Yours will obviously be different when you run it. Next, we'll run this command to download the Min.io client, change the permissions of the client to be executable, and move the MC client into user local bin. Lastly, we're going to set an alias using the MC client and point it at the local loopback address and use the Min.io admin username and password that was provided to us before. You can see that now it's added the local successfully as a alias. Just to make sure that everything's working properly, let's query the server and make sure that we see it up and running. You can see what version it's running, and we can see that there is one drive attached, which is the folder that we pointed it to. Lastly, let's just query that with a mcls minus r, and you can see that it's going to point out all of the files and folders in that directory, including our metadata and zip file itself. If you follow along, now you should be able to easily get the Minio server up and running on a rel based system. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit min.io, and if you have any questions you want to become part of the discussion, you can join us at minio.slack.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.